Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. This time I'm going to show you how to get all eight golden spatulas in the Mermelair. The way this guide will be structured is I'm going to show you how to get the spatulas as they appear in the level. Uh, these will be slightly out of order uh, when compared to the menu screen, but this is just kind of the most straightforward way to get them. The first spatula we're going to cover is top of the entrance area. This one is pretty obvious. You just got to get to the top of the first area in the Mermelair. And the spatula will be behind the big cowboy looking robot that unleashes all the dogs. And you want to use Bubble Bowl to defeat him and chase him throughout the top area. Once you reach the little section that has the invisible boatmobile, you want to cross this bridge by throwing a bubble on the bowling switch. And there are two hammer robots and the golden spatula is right behind them. Up next we have the funnel machines. This is one with Patrick. Once you reach Mermaid Man as he's sitting on his recliner watching TV, you want to pick up a watermelon and then walk along this path following the blue tiles, which can move pretty quickly if you're not careful. And you wanna throw the fruit onto the switch, cross back over the bridge, and then the first fruit will explode. A new one will spawn, pick it up, and then you wanna cross these uh, wavering platforms. These are kind of like seesaws. Uh, you can just go edge to edge. It's a lot easier than it appears. Go ahead and throw the fruit onto that switch, and then you wanna wait for it to despawn. A new one will grow, then you want to pick this one up, and there's a cannon that launches some cannonballs. I just stayed to the right here, and eventually I just got across very quickly. I think I was kind of lucky. Folks in my stream said that that was way easier in this version than it was in the original. Don't forget to talk to Mermaid Man again, and then you can get the golden spatula for the funnel machines. Once you get that spatula, you want to pick up a fruit again, use it on the seesaw to get knocked up to the next area. Then you want to talk to Barnacle Boy, and he will tell you about the spinning towers of power. For this uh, golden spatula, you want to pick up the fruit and hit the switches in a clockwise fashion. If you hit the wrong one, just hit it again to reset that particular switch. Then just keep going in a clockwise order. And then once you reach the final switch, they will all be facing inward. And then uh, you'll get the golden spatula from Barnacle Boy. If you mess up real bad, you can just hit the switch that you see here on your screen that has a hand on it. Just hit that one and it will reset everything, uh, but only do that if you really want to start over. So like I said, just keep hitting the switches in a clockwise fashion. You will have to pick up new fruit because these do uh, self-destruct. Once you do that, they're all facing inward. The machine will start. They will all get electrified and then you can just go talk to Barnacle Boy and he will give you the next golden spatula. After that, you want to head down to the bottom level, switch over to SpongeBob, and then shoot a bubble bowl onto this bowling pin switch. We're going to head to the top of the computer area, Golden Spatula now. So once you're on this conveyor belt, you want to just run along it, keep jumping, hit this missile throwing robot, and then hit the Duplicatotron to prevent it from spawning more. And we're going to wall jump up this wall right here with SpongeBob. And then you can hit the Thunder Tiki or just stand near it will blow up, likely kill the robot dog as well, and reward you with a whole bunch of shiny objects. Get about 130, 120 with that. Wall climb up one more time, and the golden spatula is just near the security system, which we will come back to in a little bit, because that has another golden spatula of its own. For now, we're going to head to the top of the security tunnel for this next golden spatula. You can spend 2,300 shiny objects to reveal a more difficult platforming section that leads to a sock. There is a security console here, which we will talk about in a bit. Just ignore that for now. Instead, just get the golden spatula. We're going to move on to complete the rolling ballroom next. Once inside the rolling ballroom, you want to send a bubble bowl up this ramp to hit a switch that will release a big steel ball. You want to use bubble bowl again to hit this turning table, or this turntable, I guess. And then after that, you want to wait for the ball to begin to travel past that new ramp and then you want to hit this stone to release a scoop. It's kind of like a counterweight. And then the ball will get into the scoop. A little cutscene will play. This is scoop successful, but you are nowhere near done yet. The ball will get onto a new track. And then you need to wait until the ball is on the screen. And then you want to just wait on this switch. I was killing this enemy in advance here. So wait for the ball to be on screen while you are on this floor switch. And then once that happens, Wait for it to be on screen. You want to hit a bubble bowl onto this switch to uh, flip over another scoop. And then as that's happening, you want to head over here, stand on this floor switch in order to build a bridge or flip up a bridge. And then once it crosses over the bridge, you're going to head to the next area. Let's wait for it to be on the steel track. 
head to the next area, and then you want to bubble bowl one more time, and then this is going to uh, guide the ball to the next track, and then once on this kind of topsy-turvy table, you want to guide it according to the arrows. Do not do what I just did here. I don't know how this worked, um, but you want to guide it into this little plunger here, like a pinball machine. Once it's in there, you want to jump over to the final section, which is a windmill, kind of like a mini golf course. The trick here is to shoot a bubble ball as the blades are covering the switch. If you do that, by the time the bowl gets released, you will uh, be able to hit the button instead of it hitting the blade. Uh, it may take a couple tries. I've been told this is a lot more forgiving in this version of the game than it was in the original. Uh, but don't forget this sock back here. It's a little tricky to get. You do want to land on this box and then head down to back where Mr. Krabs is and pick up the golden spatula. So now that all the individual rooms are done, we want to get the next golden spatula, which is shut down the security system. In order to do this, we need to hit four switches. The first one is near Barnacle Boy, near the spinning towers of power. So you can do this with Patrick or SpongeBob. You want to hit this switch here. It's kind of the first security console. The second one is actually right next to the main security computer that you need to come back to for this golden spatula. So by the time you talk to this thing, chances are you have already hit the one near Barnacle Boy. So once this cutscene is over, uh, with SpongeBob, you can hit the next switch. The third switch is at the top of the security tunnel near the cardboard box and near the 2300 shiny object uh, upper level ramp and the golden spatula. So throw a bubble bowl in there. The final one is in the spinning ballroom right near Mr. Krabs and right near the beginning ramp to bring down the ball. So once you hit all four, you want to head back to the security terminal, speak to it one more time, and it will tell you that it has regained control of the security system, and it will reward you with a golden spatula, and it will also reveal the final switch that you need to hit in order to access this level's boss, Prawn. And that is the next golden spatula that we will cover. So once you're ready, you want to bubble bowl the final switch. This will reveal a big new pathway uh, just behind SpongeBob to the right. And now you're ready to face Prawn. The Prawn fight isn't too difficult, although it may take you a few tries to get the pattern down. What you want to do is jump over his supersonic waves and then wait for the floor tiles to highlight blue. Once you do that, shoot a bubble bowl down the ramp, and then that is how you hit him. After you hit him for the first time, he will begin to spawn hammer enemies. So you just got to move around the room, jump over his supersonic wave, kill the hammer enemies. They do respawn. There's maybe like a hidden duplicator tron in this room. But just keep jumping over things. And then once he stops with the supersonic waves, the shield will come down one more time. You got to find the blue floor tiles, throw a bubble bowl down the ramp. Uh, you got to be careful, though, because if the bubble bowl hits a red tile, it will immediately explode and you have to start that phase over. So that's what happened there. You want to make sure you are kind of dead center, uh, down the middle of a blue tile set. It cannot be near red. Your right hand cannot touch red, nothing. You got to make sure it is a clean blue line. So just like you see here, I'm going to shoot this bubble there. Be careful of the hammer enemies. Um, you want to try to take care of as many of them as you can, but sometimes you just can't. You got to take risks. So the final phase is the same exact thing as the second phase. There's more hammer enemies. I guess the exception is that he moves a bit quicker in this phase and he has some better tracking. Uh, and I, from what I noticed, it also takes a bit longer for the blue floor tiles to actually come online. Looks a little bit like a disco floor, maybe like the old electronic game Simon. But once you throw the third and final bubble bowl and hit him, he will get frozen again, and you will get the final golden spatula for the Mermelair. And that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. You can also join the community Discord server and ask questions there. If you're looking for more guides for SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.